Film Heritage Foundation was born out of Celluloid Man, was born out of P.K. Nair. And the goal was very clear. It was 2014, we said we've got to have an archive. We've got to have a vault. We're going to collect every piece of celluloid film which is, which is available, which needs to be preserved. But with that, we need people. We need manpower. We need specialized, professional people trained archivists as we call it. It's very, very important that we travel around India because the workshops not only help us to train future archivists, but it also helps us to create awareness. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the opening ceremony to the Film Preservation and Restoration Workshop, our fourth edition in Kolkata. I think the most exciting of the workshop has been in Calcutta. It's been a Herculean task for us to set up each and everything. We had to bring in every tool which was required not only to restore films, but to even repair some films. Shivendra is doing and his colleagues and his friends are doing is wonderful. It's, it's, it's really, really wonderful. I think the younger generation need to see our old cinema to tell the rest of the world, this is how we are, this is how we have grown. You have to respect your past, otherwise you cannot go ahead. To, and to respect past, you have to know what to do with these films. You have to preserve, you have to restore. The Film Heritage Foundation has these incredible photographs that are blown up and you just, I, I'm really taken with how beautiful these films are. Can you believe that you have about 24 to 25 uh, great archivists, great people of, uh, coming from all over the world to train 60 students? India has the, probably one of the richest cinema heritage in the world. In this 10 years, I've seen uh, what I think is a real revolution. And I think the Film Heritage Foundation is really at the core, is the leader of this revolution. Whenever it comes to films, whenever it comes to cinema, you don't need a language. You need a visual sense. And I think students were, were thrilled with this kind of faculty. And the ability to spend more one-on-one -on -one time with the students in the smaller workshop groups, dividing them up into the various streams, has been really, really good. Shivendra Singh Gangapur, who is this extraordinary character, who's almost single-handedly um, made people aware of the need for film preservation. And not every country has a Shivendra who can do this kind of thing. Well, the Film Heritage Foundation or has clearly become in India an incredibly important uh, institution to, to, to save the incredibly rich and diverse film heritage of India. The preservationists, those who are going to care for the physical collections, uh, this, is, this will be the bedrock for any good preservation practice. I think humanity prevails over everything in life. And what better could it be that when a very senior cameraman walked in to see the workshop and Mr. Badinath, uh, who shot several films of Uttam Kumar and Suchitra Sen, he had a stint at the Raj Kapoor Studios and he walks in today. And I think that could be the best gift. The work that the Film Heritage Foundation is doing is absolutely crucial. I think it's amazing that you've taken this on, on your own shoulders, to do this on behalf of uh, India's culture.
Continue to support us on our journey and remember that we can, we must save films and we are preserving our part of ourselves for posterity. Thank you very much. This workshop will work as a kind of a catalyst to create awareness to save our own film heritage. And I'm happy that we have 200 archivists now, after the fourth edition. So we are like warriors. We are ready to go, and we are ready to save, and we are ready to take this forward.